Hello everyone, this is Sajal Devnath. Uh, in this recording, I am uh, going to cover how you can go, um, how you can explore the APIs in Realize Orchestrator, use them in your uh, workflows, and a couple of resources where you can actually go ahead and very easily explore the APIs that are available in Realize Orchestrator. So the first thing that I am going to do is uh, I'm going to explore the APIs. Uh, there's this tools option and under that you have API Explorer. It actually shows you um, the API's list that is available and the details of that particular API. You can search by it. Say for example, I want to search by catalog item. I can see that these are the things that are available. The first option that is available is a method uh, sorry is an action uh, for me then these are methods prescripting class and uh, at the end it defines what the uh, type of it so example for example uh, v vcac cafe vcac uh, cafe catalog item is the title uh, is the type i can select that and uh, go to this particular i catalog item and then i can see that uh, this is a scripting object description and the properties that is uh, that is there that is available in that particular okay, no scripting object so you just select something and then double click on it you will go there and see the details of it so that's how you explore the apis uh, say for example if i want to see uh, the the list of objects that are available for vcac cafe host i can uh, search by this vcac host so I can see that two different methods are available of uh, this uh, VCAC host manager and VCAC host machine and uh, there is one cafe host right so this is how you explore the APIs from inside Realize orchestrator we'll come back later here and uh, see how we can go ahead and actually use those uh, methods or objects in our scripts but before I do that I wanted to uh, showcase one one beautiful website vroapi.com that is uh, vroapi.com uh, they have listing of all the APIs available under vro as of today so it's listed by plugins like for example if I want to see what are the VCAC see VCAC is your IAS host and VCAC cafe is your uh, cafe host so say for example 7.2.0 there is the latest version of a uh, realize automation what are the things that are available i go ahead and go ahead and click on it i can see that the, these are the classes that are available under vcac cafe or that particular category right so i can further go ahead and uh, click any one of them and drill down what are the things that are available so same uh, similar to the other example say if we want to see what are the catalog items what are the things related to catalog right so if we go, go ahead and click into catalog item i can see that these are the attributes that are available for catalog item right and what are the different methods that are associated with this particular uh, item and uh, one very important thing is returned by so i can get uh, a catalog item vcac cafe my catalog item type returned from what methods or what are the methods that returns this type of uh, uh, this type of object and where it has been referenced this is very helpful for us because we can actually go ahead and see the correlation between everything uh, what are the methods that uses this where we go ahead say for example uh, VCAC cafe entities finder dot find a catalog items this will actually return one VCAC an area of VCAC cafe catalog item type so if I further click on that I can see that this method uh, gets all catalog items mm -hmm. for a host machine that query by name or description so I can mention the host and I can query by string to you know, further drill down the query so this is how I will go ahead and uh, you know, try to find out what APIs are available for me and what, are I, what I can utilize. And this is very useful because this, is, this has a search function. I can go ahead and search by itself. For example, business. I want to see business group. 
So what are things that are available for business group? I can see that the classes are business group. Uh, see, I want to see VCAC Cafe business group service and uh, VCAC Cafe business group 7.2.0. I want to click here. I can see what are the different attributes that is available for that and what are the methods that is related to this. So if I want to get uh, the list of all the business groups, if I try to find it here, if there is any method that returns this, uh, see, I cannot find it directly here. But if this say, VCAC Cafe Business Groups service get all, I can get all the services or for example, get business group. This is something which is very interesting. So VCAC Cafe Entities Finder dot get business groups. So I can call this met uh, method and I can return back uh, I can get a list of all the business groups that is available there right so for this this is what it is gets all business groups for a host right uh, for this example let's try to find out uh, the catalog uh, items what are the different catalog items that are there right so I can see that the catalog items um, it would be returned by there are many methods that I can use to uh, return it. Let's go back to VRO and uh, write a small script. Say small workflow where I all I want to see is a list of catalog items. So I'll write a small uh, workflow there. Okay, so I need to do a I need to run a scriptable task. See, the moment I open the scriptable task, on the left hand side, I can see the API Explorer. So, I will define a variable which will host all my catalog items. Right? Catalog, say, items, and I'm defining this as an array of strings. I want to store the names up there. Now, I want to find out the catalog lists right okay so there is this particular entity server so I can select that class I can simply go ahead and search that server is always returns to VMO server so I can this is the thing that I was looking for I will go ahead, go ahead and look into it. Say so this is a set of functions to interact with the VMware server. I want to find out how many catalog items are there in the particular server in the total list, right? So I will go to uh, server. I will type server out there dot and then control space. It would show me all the available methods that are available in that particular object. So I want to find all for type, right? So I can double click on that and uh, find all for type. If I want to see what it, it, what what are the parameter that needs to be passed on to this particular method I can see that I will have to provide that string type that what type of item that I want to list to find out and I can further drill down by the query so here I want to find out VCSC cafe and catalog item right that is what I'm looking for catalog list and then what I want to do is I, I want to run a for loop and uh, I want to store the value values of the names so catalog list dot length right So catalog items or catalog items. I want to store the catalog item name here. So catalog list dot name. Right. I want to show the output 
in my system log right now you may question me that how do i know that there's an attribute name uh, name so if i search by catalog item in the api explorer say i want to search by catalog item and i can i can actually go ahead and see say on the catalog item what are the properties that are available in this particular say vcc cafe catalog item uh, method or the type so there is a name actually uh, name property uh, that is available with this particular type so i'll go back go back and uh, run this workflow and i can see that it has returned all the catalog items that are available so one two three four five or uh, six uh, catalog items are there so it has returned uh, to me all the list of catalog items that are available in the vra server so that is how i explore and use the apis in vro workflows